Mrs. Sarah Lucier, 60, is married and mother of a 35-year-old daughter. She came to the ER three days ago with a tingling sensation in her fingers that had persisted for two weeks. She also lost weight without dieting. Upon her arrival, her blood glucose level was 18 millimoles per liter with diaphoresis. The doctor diagnosed her with type 2 diabetes and admitted her to the medical care unit with a prescription for oral antihyperglycemic medication and dietary monitoring. It is 2.30 p.m. Mrs. Lucier has just returned to her room after a walk in the hallway. She tells you that she is feeling weak and she goes to lie down on her bed. Is something wrong? Oh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, I feel really weak. I, I think I'm going to faint. Okay, let, let's sit you down on the bed. Oh, okay. There Diabetes is a disease that affects the pancreas, <laughs> causing the production of insulin to decrease or to stop completely, which leads to higher than normal blood glucose levels. There are various types of diabetes. For type 2 diabetes, the user usually receives oral antihyperglycemic medication to stabilize blood glucose levels and allow the cells to break down the sugar that is already present in the user's bloodstream. Oh, thank you. Is it better? Yeah. You seem to be hot. Do you have any other discomfort? Oh, uh, my vision is blurry and I feel dizzy. Okay. <sighs> Have you had anything for lunch? No, I wasn't. Ha I wasn't hungry. You know. You know, hospital food is no. not really good. Okay. When the person presents symptoms oh, of hypoglycemia, it is essential for the nurse to quickly assess the user's situation by asking questions and checking their blood sugar no. level. Many acute complications can occur in a person yes. with diabetes, just such as hyperglycemia just or hypoglycemia. Untreated or poorly controlled diabetes can also lead to long-term complications. So, judging from your symptoms, I think that your blood sugar might be low since you haven't had anything for lunch as well. Has it happened to you before? Yeah, it happened uh, <clears throat> in the ER. Okay, so I'll go grab the necessary material to, to test your blood sugar level. Okay. And I'll be right back, okay? Okay, okay. Following her assessment, the nurse suspects hypoglycemia. The normal blood sugar level for a person with diabetes is between 4 and 7 millimoles per liter. The user has hypoglycemia when their blood sugar level is below 4 millimoles per liter. This can cause several discomforts such as clammy and cold skin, dizziness, blurry vision, headaches and tremors, amongst others. Okay, so you've had that procedure done before. Uh, 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 that's the little prick thing there? Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, they did that to me in the ER. Yes, so I'll just have to disinfect your finger. It's not very... Oh, it's, no, it's not very comfortable. I, no, 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 I, I'll no, give you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this might sting a bit. So, yeah, so you are at 3.4, which is a bit low. So your body is reacting to the low level of blood sugar. Okay, but so, is, is, is that going to get better? I'll get you something right away, and, and it should help. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Mrs. Lucier's blood glucose level is 3.4 millimoles per liter, which confirms the nurse's hypothesis. Healthcare facilities follow a treatment procedure for hypoglycemia as stated in a collective order. This order dictates the appropriate intervention depending on the blood glucose level that is observed. For example, if the result is below 4 millimoles per liter, the nurse must administer 15 grams of fast-acting sugar. Fast-acting sugar allows for a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Fifteen minutes before ingesting the sugar, a second blood sugar test is performed to verify if the treatment was effective. Okay. It's a bit scary when that happens, huh? Oh, I get it. So, I brought you orange juice with extra sugar in it. This should help raise your blood sugar level. 
Okay. So you have to drink it, please. You want me to drink that, like... Yes. Uh, straight, straight up. up. Straight up? Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. Given the 3.4 millimole per liter reading, the nurse pours 125 right. milliliters of Very orange good. juice in a glass to which she adds 15 grams of sugar. Products which contain fat or protein should be avoided oh, since these substances delay sugar absorption. So your symptoms should diminish once your blood sugar level starts to rise. Okay. I'll be back to check on you in about 15 minutes and then we'll retest your blood sugar level and see from there. Okay. All right. Thank you. So if there's yeah. anything, you can press the button, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Yeah. It is essential for the nurse to retake the user's blood sugar level after 15 minutes in order to assess if the absorption of the fast-acting sugar was effective. If the result is still below 4 millimoles per liter, the cycle has to be repeated until the nurse gets a reading above 4 millimoles per liter. It is usually repeated two or three times or following the collective order in effect at the establishment. If the blood sugar level is still not high enough after administering 15 grams of fast-acting sugar three times, the nurse has to notify the attending doctor. So, how are you feeling? Uh, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, uh, my vision's back to normal. Okay. And, um, so that, that's a good sign. I'm not, I'm not as dizzy. Okay. Yeah. That's a good sign. We'll recheck with the machine to make sure. You got to do that again? Mm, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no the other same, way. The same finger or another? Whichever you prefer. Okay. Maybe this one. Right. Okay. As soon as the four millimole per liter threshold is reached, the nurse must arrange for a snack or a meal to be served within the hour. Okay, well, if the next meal oh, okay, is more go. than an hour away, the user must be given a snack containing carbohydrates and protein in order to maintain the blood sugar level. A piece of cheese or a cracker with either peanut butter or 125 milliliters of milk. Okay, so you're at 5.1 now. Oh, that's good, right? Yes, you're back within the normal range. We okay. want to aim for between four and seven. Oh. But we don't want it to go back down again, so I'll bring you a snack since dinner is still two hours from now. Oh, thank you. Okay? You yeah, know, I was really worried about this. But... But it's understandable. It's all new to you, but we won't leave you alone with that. Before you leave the hospital, we'll teach you everything you need to know to manage your diabetes properly, okay. and then you'll get a follow-up with a nurse once you get back home as well. At home? She's going to come to my Absolutely. house? Absolutely. Oh, that's really reassuring. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll thank be right you back. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Yeah.